everyone, and welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I have a February book haul for you. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I was going to go to one more store before I did this, but I decided that I didn't want to cheat on my um, Project 20. So I decided I'm not going to go to that extra store. And the reason why I'm doing a February book haul instead of regular ones, like how I split them all up, is because I went to some multiple places and got some books, and it just makes more sense. Um, so the first book I got this month, which was kind of like late January, early February, I had gone to a Books a Million in hopes of trying to find um, Rush by someone, I don't remember who. I had seen a lot of booktubers hauling it from Books a Million because it was on sale, and I went to Books a Million and it wasn't there, but I instead I found... Twisted by Sarah Shepard and that was in the bargain bin so I got this for like three dollars because the guy was like all pouring up so I ended up getting it for like a few like some change um cheaper um but this is book nine in the Pretty Little Liar series I know I don't have book five six seven or eight but I figured I might as well collect them while I could find them cheap so that's what I did then um we were placing an order on Amazon to get some dog food and it came to like $34 and change and of course Amazon now has a thing where they only do free shipping at $35 or more so I got to get a book out of it so I picked a book out of the bargain bin and I got Carrier of the Mark by Lee Fallon I think that's how you say your name um I've been seeing this a lot on Benjamin of Tomes' channel, and he raves about this book, and I believe it's about witches, but I could be wrong. The one thing that really sold me on it, other than him raving about it, is it takes place in Ireland, and I love Ireland. I went there back in 2010, so I really, that kind of made me want to read this, so I picked this up. And then I went to Target one day because I had to get some odds and ends and of course it was the day that Crest was released so of course I had to pick this up. Um, I can't believe how big it is compared to the other ones. I really cannot wait to get to this book. This is the third book in the Lunar Chronicles series. Um, the first one which is Cinder so everybody's probably heard of this. I can't believe I haven't picked it up yet. I kind of wanted to haul it before I read it so that's kind of my explanation but I cannot wait to get to this one. And then this past weekend, um, honestly, like, after, like, everything with my dad in the hospital and everything, I kind of didn't really leave the house that much, and we had snow days, and I was just kind of having, like, cabin fever, and I needed to get out. So I went to the library because there was three books that I wanted to donate back to them that I wasn't going to read. So I, of course, had a look at what they had, and I really made out, again, five books for $6.00. So, party on, right? So the first book I found that they had there, and I nearly died because my library, like, gets books down there. Obviously, that's why they have the store. But it's very rare to find, like, popular, like, YA books there. It's just how they worked, I guess. Um, So I nearly flipped when I found this book there. And it is Hateless by Jennifer Brown. And... Oh my god, I like died when I found this there for like a dollar. It's about this girl, and I guess her and her boyfriend came up with like a list of people they hated, and apparently her boyfriend went into the school and just like killed a bunch of people, and those people were like on their hate list. So I think it's about stuff like that, and I thought that sounded really interesting, and I've been wanting it, and it's the cover I wanted, and I like died. It was like perfect condition, because that's another thing. Even if they do get good YA, sometimes it's like bad condition. Like, they had If I Stay, yeah, If I Stay There, and I really wanted it, but it was, like, so beat up, and I was like, I'm not paying for that. So, the next book I got is an adult book, and that is Good Girl Gone Bad, and this just looked really intriguing. Um, I've never heard of it before. It's by Karen Tabik. Tabik? I don't know. I think it's about these two people, they're like cops, and they have to go undercover in a strip club, and things happen, and it just sounded really interesting, 
and I've been wanting to read more adults because I used to read adult all the time and then YA kind of hit me again and I've kind of gone back to YA so I wanted to pick this up to get back into more adultness if that's a word. Then as you know I have like this goal that I want to read all of Nicholas Sparks' books and normally so whenever they have one of course I have to pick it up. So the first book I got was True Believer by Nicholas Sparks. Not too sure what it's about but it's Nicholas Sparks so I need to read it. And then I also found A Bend in the Road, which I've been looking for because I heard this is one of his better ones. Not that I, I have ones that I like of his, but I heard this is one of his good ones. So I really wanted it, and I was so happy that they had it in hardcover and, like, good condition, even with really creepy Nicholas Sparks on the back. <laughs> but I was looking forward to getting this. And then this one book. I found I like couldn't believe it was there because it's YA and it came out last year granted I don't have book one yet but I will get it but I had to get this one because it was two dollars so yeah and that is Inheritance by Melinda Lowe this is book two to adaptation adaptation looks like this I've seen it on book outlet I've seen people haul it I've seen it around so I could not believe it when I found the second book in such great condition for two dollars so I just had to pick it up had to get it so yeah those are all the books I got this month and now I am going on an official project 20 I've already read five books towards my project 20 goal so I'm working on it I'm almost there and uh, not really but I like to pretend I'm almost there so um yeah, if you know anything about those books and you want to let me know, tell me down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!